23 year old girl is dead. What do you have to say about that? What were you doing at the Chevron? Anything to say to the victim's family? Anything at all? Anything to say to your family? This is the story of Destiny Watson, a young 23 year old lady who was brutally murdered by her boyfriend, Moses Richardson, and his ex girlfriend, Adriana Gossett, in a gas station in Pritchard, Alabama. It was a crazy incident because Destiny's boyfriend's ex-girlfriend was able to convince him to join her in carrying out the gruesome crime just because she lost Moses to Destiny. Her life was cut short by two people who plotted to kill her out of spite and greed. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. News at this hour, Pritchard police confirming one woman has died after being shot last night at a Chevron gas station on St. Stephen's Road. Destiny Watson was born on June 6, 1999, in Mobile, Alabama. She was the youngest of four siblings, two brothers and a sister. Her parents, James and Angela Watson, were hardworking and devoted to their children. They raised them in a Christian faith and taught them to be respectful and compassionate. Destiny attended Blunt High School in Pritchard, where she excelled academically and socially. She was a member of the National Honor Society, the cheerleading squad, and the choir. She also volunteered at a local hospital and a nursing home. She graduated with honors in 2017 and received a scholarship to attend the University of South Alabama. Destiny decided to pursue a career in the medical field because she had a passion for helping people. She enrolled in a certified nurse's assistant CNA, program and completed it in 2018. She then started working as a CNA at a nursing home in Mobile, where she cared for elderly residents with kindness and professionalism. Destiny was described by her family and friends as a beautiful, kind, and cheerful person who always had a smile on her face. She had a positive outlook on life and a bubbly personality that made everyone around her happy. She loved to sing, dance, travel, and spend time with her loved ones. She had many dreams and aspirations for her future. Destiny met Moses Richardson, a 22-year-old man from the Maryvale community, in 2020. They met through a mutual friend and hit it off right away. They started dating and moved in together in an apartment in 8 Mile, a suburb of Mobile. Destiny's family said that she was happy with Moses and thought he was the one for her. She often posted pictures of them on social media, showing their affection and happiness. However, they also noticed some red flags in their relationship. They said that Moses was controlling, possessive, and abusive towards Destiny. He would often check her phone, accuse her of cheating, and isolate her from her family and friends. He also had a criminal record for drug possession and assault. He had been arrested in 2019 for assaulting his ex-girlfriend, Adriana Gossett. Destiny's family tried to warn her about Moses and urged her to leave him, but she refused to listen. She believed that he loved her and that he would change for the better. She also hoped that he would propose to her soon. She told her family that he had bought a ring for her and that they were planning to get married. What Destiny didn't know was that Moses was still in contact with his ex-girlfriend, Adriana Gossett, a 26-year-old woman from 8 Mile. She had dated Moses for about two years before they broke up in 2019. She was jealous of Destiny Watson and wanted to get back with Moses. She hated seeing him happy with another woman and blamed Destiny for stealing him away from her. Adriana also had a history of violence and had been arrested for domestic battery in 2019. She had assaulted Moses in a domestic dispute and had left him with bruises and scratches. She was also involved in other criminal activities, such as drug dealing and robbery. She had a bad reputation in the community and was known to be dangerous and unstable. Adriana kept in contact with Moses after their breakup and tried to persuade him to leave Destiny. She also threatened Destiny and harassed her on social media. She told her that she would kill her if she didn't stay away from Moses. Destiny ignored her threats and continued to love Moses, unaware of his involvement with Adriana. Moses and Adriana plotted to kill Destiny out of spite and greed. They wanted to get rid of her so that they could be together again. They also wanted to rob her of her money and belongings. They planned to ambush her at a Chevron gas station on St. Stephen's Road in Pritchard, where she often stopped to buy snacks after work. They knew her routine and her car, and they waited for her to arrive. On February 8, 2023, around 10 p.m., 
Destiny left her job at a nursing home and drove to the gas station. As she parked her car, Moses and Adriana blocked her in with their vehicle and opened fire with an AR-15 rifle. They shot Destiny multiple times in the head and chest, killing her instantly. They then fled the scene, leaving behind a horrific sight of blood and bullets. The surveillance footage from the gas station captured the whole incident. The Pritchard police arrived at the gas station shortly after the shooting and found Destiny's lifeless body inside her car. They also found surveillance footage that captured the whole incident. The Pritchard police identified the suspects as Moses and Adriana and issued arrest warrants for them. They also released their photos and names to the public and asked for any information or tips that could lead to their capture. Pritchard police confirming one woman has died after being shot last night at a Chevron gas station on St. Stephen's Road. Pritchard PD says 23-year-old Destiny Watson was shot and killed at that gas station. Uh, they tell Fox 10 News there was a confrontation between Watson and two other people in a different vehicle. Pritchard police asking for Adriana Gossett. She's one of her questioning in the murder of Destiny Watson, they say. According to the release, Gossett pulled into the convenience store blocking Watson's car with her vehicle. Watson got out of the vehicle and when Gossett and another unidentified person was sh or shot Watson. If anyone has any information or where Gossett can be found, you are asked to call police in Pritchard. The next day, February 9, 2023, the Mobile County Sheriff's Office located Moses and Adriana at a motel in Tillman's Corner. They arrested them without incident and charged them with intentional murder. They also recovered the AR-15 rifle that was used in the shooting. They said that they received a tip from an anonymous caller who recognized the suspects from the news reports. They praised the cooperation of the public and the media in helping them solve the case. Two people now charged with murder for shooting a 23-year-old woman at a gas station on St. Stephen's Road at Wolf Ridge Road. WKRG News 5's Jeremy Jones is live at Pritchard Police Headquarters. And Jeremy, you talked with the victim's mother today. Cherish, I spoke with the victim's mother, Shannon, today off camera. She is completely devastated and heartbroken that she lost her only daughter. However, she does tell me that she's rather happy that arrests have been made quickly. Pritchard police arrested 26-year-old Adriana Gossett and 22-year-old Moses Richardson for Destiny Watson's murder. 23-year-old girl is dead. What do you have to say about that? What were you doing at the Chevron? Anything to say to the victim's family? Anything at all? Anything to say to your family. Investigators say they arrived at the Chevron gas station on St. Stephen's and Wolf Ridge Road Tuesday night. Investigators say Gossett blocked Watson's car at the pumps, not letting her out. Police say Watson got out of the car once the suspects fired shots. Investigators are not sure if the suspects knew the victim. Uh, it's unclear at this time, but it's believed that the subjects uh, had a confrontation at some point in time, and this is possibly what led up to this. Both Gossett and Richardson are facing murder charges. Detective Martin says there is not a threat to the area. The only real threat, he says, is the gun violence. No, no danger, other than, none other than what is already going on in the city around us with all the gun violence. That's the only danger that it really is imposed within the city of Mobile and Pritchard surrounding areas. It's Shannon says that she knows the people accused of killing her daughter. She tells me that Gossett was her was Destiny's current boyfriend's ex and Richardson was Gossett's boyfriend. Moses and Adriana were taken to the Metro jail and appeared before a judge for a bond hearing on February 10, 2023. The judge denied bond for Moses because he violated his probation for a previous charge. The judge granted a bond for Adriana at $250,000. The family of Destiny Watson was outraged by the bond decision for Adriana. They said that she deserved to be held without bond as well because she was equally responsible for the murder. They also hoped that Anaya's law, a proposed legislation that would allow judges to deny bail to people who have been charged with violent crimes other than capital murder, would be passed soon in Alabama. Well, tonight, a family is grieving the loss of 23-year-old Destiny Watson. Watson was murdered at a Pritchard gas station off of St. Stephen's Road Tuesday night. Police say her killers blocked her car in and opened fire. Today, there was a bond hearing for her alleged killers, Adriana Gossett and Moses Richardson. The court granted bond for one of the two suspects. NBC 15's Kiris Harmon was at that hearing this morning and exclusively spoke with the family of the victim, who says the decision by the judge 
was not, not what they had hoped for. It wasn't, Kim, but they're wondering why Anaya's law couldn't be used. Both suspects were charged with murder. They should keep, uh, keep them here. I don't, I, I don't know what, 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 what you bringing them out on the street for. 22-year-old Moses Richardson charged with murder, being held in Metro Jail without bond tonight because he violated his probation for a previous charge. The female suspect, 26-year-old Adriana Gossett, charged with murder, but she was granted a bond of $250,000. $250,000, they get that for, for, uh, for breaking in somebody's house or, or home invasion or whatever. So you gonna get them the same bond to kill for killing somebody? Mm -hmm. I ain't, that didn't seem good with me. Family members of the victim wondering why. I don't know what, what need to be done or who need to be talked to, but as far as the Anaya's law, I feel like they need to come on with that in Mobile, Alabama. Some got to change. Somebody got to be made an example of. And this is the perfect example. Anaya's law gives judges the choice to deny bail to people who have been charged with violent crimes other than capital murder. Douglas says Gossett and Richardson do not need to be out on the streets. You got an AR on you. You came to do damage. When you come get a pistol, if, you, if I got a 25 or a 22 in my hand, that's different. That's going to shoot one time. You come something with a switch, it's going to come and ain't going to stop. So how you going to stop somebody? You, you could have killed way, way more people than that. So I just don't understand. I don't, I, I'm just so, y'all want to let them out? She was driving the car. What makes her different than anybody else? She says something needs to change or more people will suffer a similar fate. It is just the beginning. And when they come down here, they're doing up a slap them on the wrist. More murders coming here every day. Moses and Adriana pleaded not guilty to the murder charge and awaited trial. Murder of Destiny Watson shocked and saddened the community of Pritchard and Mobile. Many people expressed their condolences and support to her family and friends. They also held vigils, rallies, and fundraisers in her memory. Destiny's family said that they missed her every day and that they would never forget her. They said that she was a bright light in their lives. They also said that they hoped that her story would raise awareness about domestic violence and gun violence and that it would inspire people to seek help or intervene if they see someone in an abusive relationship. They also created a GoFundMe page to help with the funeral expenses and to create a scholarship fund in Destiny's name. The case still remains open. Destiny's family wished for a fair trial and a just verdict that would honor her memory and hold those accountable for her death. A very silly case which almost sounds unbelievable. Moses and Adriana could have stayed together instead of deciding to murder the innocent lady. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Destiny Watson. May Destiny's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.